YouTube! We're back with another episode of What the Hell Am I Doing? And this week, we're finally doing the computer episode that we've been talking about for a couple weeks. Uh, enough of you were interested in my computer reveal, so today is the day. Um, last week, I was lucky on both my picks. Well, I wasn't really lucky. They were smart picks. But uh, the, uh, you know, the RDA fight was a little bit concerning, but, um, you know, he got the win in the end. Uh, and the uh, Colby Covington fight went exactly the way I thought it would, and like I said it would. Now the big question is, with Masvidal, what happens next? Uh, so there's no punishment today, so why not do my computer video? Uh, so you guys have heard in the f last few weeks, if you're following the channel, that I bought a new computer. Well, bought parts and I built a new computer. And um, some of you wanted to see it, so uh, th this uh, week's video, I'm going to reveal it to you. So uh, I had an existing case that I used that's only a couple years old. Um, that's a Cooler Master H500 case. Uh, I bought a Z90, uh, Z, ugh, I can't talk, Z690 um, motherboard uh, for deep with DDR4 memory. Um, and I bought an i7 12700K uh, processor, which is a pretty amazing processor. And I managed to overclock it. I'm, I'm still working on it to see if I can get more out of it. Um, but so far I've gotten it up to five gigahertz stable. Uh, with some serious testing, sta uh, stability testing. So uh, right now, five gigahertz, I've got stable. And I'm going to try a, a couple other things in the background to see if I can add to it a bit more and maybe push for 5.1. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm running at. Uh, I have an older graphics card, but uh, for what I play and for everything that I needed to do, it's perfect still. It's a TI. Um, I don't really care about the uh, ray tracing. So, you know, I... It's still a good card, and uh, when the, there's a little more competition in the GPU market and uh, prices come down, then it'll be time to look for another card. But uh, for now, this card's still good, so um, that might be the only thing anybody laughs at in this video, and maybe my wiring in the back side of the PC. But yeah, why don't I uh, take you down to my uh, basement, where uh, all the good stuff happens, uh, and give you a tour of my new machine. All right, we're downstairs in the Champs. Man cave, the main entertainment area of the house. Um, you know, some people might make fun of you for hanging out in your basement, but I think my basement's cool. Uh, this is where all the magic and fun happens. All the main events happen on the TV down here. Anderson has a ton of fun down here. Right, buddy? Uh, my guitars are down here, as you can see. Um, I love my guitars. So... Yeah, and I've got some uh, old school comfortable couches. I've got some box sets there. But yeah, it's pretty cool here. What's up, Anderson? And of course, I got the uh, Suedo fireplace below the TV because that's a requirement in any man cave. So it's pretty cool down here. Uh, as you can imagine, this TV seen a lot of main events. Those guitars have done a lot of jamming and a lot of recording. And, uh, yeah, let's turn this around. Actually, hold on. Let me show you something else that's cool. Champ's got a chair from Maple Leaf Gardens, a red chair from uh, Section 48, I think it is. I'd have to go look at the plaque, but I believe that's what it is. Yeah. Talking about things that have seen... <laughs> Anderson likes walking into the camera. You want to talk about things that have seen a lot of stuff? That chair has seen a lot of stuff. All right, and this is the other half of the basement. If uh, you know, if you just turn around where the camera is uh, before, um, this is the computer area of the basement. So this is where I sometimes sit and watch the TV. Um, and I've got two 27-inch uh, screens hooked up to my computer. There, the one on the right is 1440p. The one on the left is uh, uh, 1080p. So. Uh, when there's a lot of fights or a lot of sports on, I'll have something on the TV and I'll have the other two screens here having the, uh, the other fights or whatever is on in the background. But yeah, this is, uh, this is my main hangout area down here. This is where I entertain people. This is where I, uh, do my video editing, my music production, my recording. If I actually just, uh, turn the camera to the left a bit here, um, I have my Mesa Boogie amp. And my pedal board, oh, it's blocked. You can't see it. Hold on. 
there. I just moved the light out of the way on the, uh, on the uh, camera here. But yeah, that's my Mess of Boogie amp. It's a 50 watt amp. It's an amazing guitar amp. I love playing this thing. It's got the crunchiest, heaviest distortion of any amp I've ever owned in my life. And that's my pedal board full of all the effects that, uh, uh, I've been accumulated over the years and what I use when I play and record. Uh, so this is always wired up to my computer and ready to go. And, uh, of course, uh, I have Anderson's bed under the computer there, if you're wondering what that is. Uh, he likes to lay there sometimes when I game. But, yeah, if I pan over here, I've got my studio mic, which is also uh, what I use when I do my live streams, which I will be doing again. Um, but, yeah, that's uh, my studio mic uh, slash live mic. When I, If I were to play live, I would use that, too. Uh, but I, I also use that for when I do my live streams and when I'm doing Discord and stuff like that. That's the mic I use. Uh, my setup here is always kind of hooked up permanently. As you can see on the desk there, I have a uh, Scarlett 2i um, interface there. So that allows me to have a couple of mics hooked up to it. And uh, I can control the volume on each mic. And uh, it's pretty cool. It's a really handy device. And it's really uh, helped my music production go up a long way. So... Um, yeah, so yeah, I'm not going to do too much of a basement tour, but, uh, you know, this is my main entertainment area of the house, and I figured I'd show you guys my TVs and uh, kind of how I do things down here when uh, when it gets down to partying. But yeah, let's uh, get in a little closer to the computer, and I'll show you what's going on here. So what we got here is uh, my latest build. Uh, I kind of got this thing taken apart. I was doing a little cleanup today. Um, so what I'm using is a Cooler Master H500 case. It's using the stock fans, um, which are now plugged into the motherboard, which controls the RGB through software on my computer. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this is a pretty good case. It's pretty large. You can put a 360 millimeter uh, rad in the front if you wanted to. Um, I uh, have a 240. I put it on the top. I wanted something that could exhaust at the top and instead it into the case. So I went with that option, and unfortunately, the biggest you can go with is 240 on the top. But that being said, and all my overclocking tests, it did quite well. Um, a lot of the benchmarks uh, for 4.9 gigahertz, it kept under 75 degrees, so that's pretty good. And when I started pushing it over 5 gigahertz, that's when it started to, uh, to heat up a bit. But still, it was uh, low 80s for most of the tests, so that's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, this is a pretty cool case. It's got some pretty good airflow. It keeps things cool. Before this setup, I was using a 4790K with a, um, I can't remember exactly what the fill the cleaner was right now, but it was a, um, it was a uh, air cooler tower radiator. Um, oh man, I can't remember what it was. Anyways, it doesn't matter. It did quite well, but um, it, it's warmer. That setup was warmer inside the case than this current setup is. So. Uh, this current setup obviously is much more efficient cooling wise, but, the, either way, the case did a good job before, but it, uh, it does an even better job now. Uh, the airflow in this case is really nice and having a radiator mount on the top, exhausting all the heat at the top really helps. Um, uh, so yeah, I've got this thing taken apart cause I was just, uh, cleaning up the fans a little bit and, uh, well, I guess I'll just show you guys how easily this thing sets up. This is the uh, back side of the case uh, where uh, the cover is off right now. Uh, this is the side where you don't uh, usually normally see anything. This is the ugly side where all the wiring is. And as you can see, uh, it's a bit of a disaster. I'm sure people who are neat freaks will probably criticize my uh, <laughs> the way I ported all the cables through here. But whatever, man. It's out of sight. I don't really care. I've got my... Uh, Samsung Evo SSD mounted on the back there. I plan on getting an NVMe one day, uh, but I don't have one yet. Um, so when I do, I'll have that mounted on the uh, PCI side. But yeah, this is uh, uh, what the, the case looks like with the uh, with the uh, other side off, basically. And, uh, you know, normally this would be on, and it's, uh, it's a solid metal cover. So, um, you know, you wouldn't see this ugliness. So I'll put that back on real quick. That's what it looks like with the side cover back on. What I like about this computer is that it's got a bunch of USB ports on the front. It's got two USB 2.0 ports on the right and two USB 3.0 on the left. 
It also has a headphone set and a micro microphone uh, jack on the front. So that's pretty cool. The front cover has a nice mesh grill on it. There's also a, a glass one that, you can, that it comes with, but I don't know why you'd want to use that. Airflow is important with computers. Um, so I obviously went with the uh, open mesh grill instead of using the stupid plastic or glass or whatever it was. Um, and the inside of this mesh has also got air filter everywhere. Um, even the sides, as you can see, there's even side vents and bottom vents, and they've all got air filter on it. And uh, what's great about this is this just pops right off. You can take a blower to it, clean it up real easily, and it just snaps back on. I'll show you how it snaps on. So you just take her. fight with her to get her in just like that okay so what we've got inside here is the uh, MSI Pro Z90 uh, DDR4 uh, motherboard and uh, I'm running an i7 12 700k um, I did not go with the KF, I'm with the K, so I had uh, onboard graphics just in case anything ever goes wrong. Still want to be able to use the computer, especially if you can't get a video card. Um, and I've got 32 gigabytes of uh, G Skill Rip, Scott, Rip Jaws uh, uh, memory, which runs at 4000 megahertz based on the XMP profile. I haven't really tweaked that yet. I'm going to see if I can uh, fool around with the memory and get better performance out of it. But so far, I'm happy with the way it runs, so I haven't really messed with that. And as you can see, I have the, uh, the Corsair cooler in there, which is the uh, Corsair H100 uh, 240mm uh, AIO cooler, all-in-one cooler. And uh, it's a pretty, good, pretty damn good cooler. It's done a good job. Looks pretty good with the uh, LED lights. Uh, I'll show you a picture here on the side. Uh, the fan also has lights to do rainbow effects and all that. They look pretty cool. Um, you know, I'm not really all about the LED, but if you want to show off, I guess it's cool. And it's uh, nice you can turn it off as well. But uh, so far, this thing's done quite an efficient job uh, during my benchmark tests. Um, and, you know, during all the overclock stress testing, it, it kept temperatures pretty good. Uh, running games like Tarkov, it seems to uh, keep temperatures between 45 and 50 degrees uh, with the 5 gigahertz overclock. So... It's doing a good job, and uh, hopefully people don't laugh at my install too much. I tried to keep things as uh, clean and tidy as I could. Um, you know, I'm not a complete neat freak, so I don't care that much. But uh, it is kind of cool to have a setup that's a little bit tidy. And, uh, you know, this is uh, one of the best computers I think I've ever had. Um, it's damn fast. So I'm pretty impressed with the performance of the computer. Uh, yeah, that is uh, 1080 Ti. Again, I hope people aren't being dicks and laughing at me. Uh, you know, I know there's better out there, but at this time, I, this card does everything I need. Um, so I don't really see the point in spending thousands of dollars to upgrade a video card for for performance I may not need at the time being. Um, when the prices come down and uh, there's some games that demand a little more out of it uh, than... You know, I'll make the upgrade then. But for now, this thing does a great job for the games I play. And, uh, you know, the CPU upgrade has just been massive. And this computer is, uh, it just blows my mind how fast it is. And uh, with the uh, water cooling, it, this thing is silent. Every time I walk down into this room, I don't hear the computer anymore. So that's cool too. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much a tour of what I've got going on here. Oh, well, I guess I could show you one more thing. Um, you know, down in the bottom here is uh, where the power supply is on the left. And on the right, I've got two hard drives in there. I've got a four terabyte and a two terabyte. Um, they'll store my music and games and stuff that doesn't need the uh, SSD. But yeah, that's uh, that's my install uh, for everybody that was curious. Um, you know, I hope you guys dig it. Uh, I really like the computer. It's made a huge difference for my video editing. Um it renders videos a lot faster. It works out to about a minute or just under a minute per video of 4K. So that's uh, 
that's pretty impressive, I think. And uh, for games, it, it really runs games like Tarkov and everything else a lot better. It was clear I had a CPU bottleneck before, but uh, not anymore. This uh, this computer is amazing. Really happy with it. And uh, if anybody has questions about computers or builds, you know, I can try to help you. I'm not an expert, but uh, I can try to help you. Well, there you go, guys. That's uh, my new PC. That's my uh, new dream machine, my powerhouse. It'll be used for cutting videos. It'll be used for uh, making music. And, of course, it'll be used for gaming and streaming. So you guys got to stay tuned for that. Um, well, that's all for this week's video. Make sure you hit that like button, comment. I want to hear from you all. Tell me if you got a dream machine or if you got a dream machine you're going to be building soon. Tell me what it is. Uh, and tell me what games you're playing. I think I need a new game to try out on my computer. Uh, but that's it for this week, like I just said. So uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Check out last week's video where I picked the fights correctly. Check out this random video here. And we'll see you soon with another video. Thanks for tuning in.